What's up guys, Duartic here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today we have a very unexpected video. I was planning to make a video talking about Gear, Gear Tier 15 and how it will ruin the game uh, but instead this thing happened and it's just hilarious and I got to show you guys. So last uh, Sunday or something I did a live stream and uh, I was doing the last node of Dark Dimension 3 and also doing the Blitz. Thanks for everyone who joined it and uh, everyone who was asking questions and uh, talking with me and so on. It was very nice and a few people have said that uh, they want to see more of that in the future. Maybe we'll do it once uh, a week or during the weekend or something like that when we have those important Blitzes. And with that said, um, so I finished Dark Dimension 3 on the stream, you can check it out. And now I'm starting Dark Dimension 3 second run. And I just found this crazy bug, like I have not seen anyone talking about this before. Uh, but you just watch, it's just so ridiculous, I don't even know what to say. So let me see, 30% extra speed. So I didn't know exactly what team I was going to take. But I thought, hmm, it's going to be interesting if we take Mr. Sinister and since the node has a enemy Ella to, ha to have two Hellas instead of just one. Because, of course, what's better than one Hella, two Hellas? And uh, then we take the usual suspects that can revive characters, slow and so on. We have Minerva and uh, Scientist Supreme. Scientist Supreme is still a great character, applies offense down, defense down, and slow for two turns. She is amazing. And because we have Hela, we'll have all those Gregs all the time on the field, so we'll be able to take advantage of that. And then uh, something happened, and I was like, oh, <laughs> this is unbelievable. And uh, yeah, just watch. Okay, so we just start the usual defense up and stuff now we have Ella you should save the, the spreading the ultimate for later Scientist Supreme applying offense down defense down and slow to everyone it's just so good and then I clone Ella and Ella summons another Greg and that's fine that's very interesting and we continue with the match so we focus on uh, Falcon he's very annoying we have a few characters and then I notice these what? Now I have four Gregs instead of two. What is this? I do not understand. And uh, and yeah, we continue with four Gregs now. And uh, it it just it was just so easy. Oh, guys, remember you have to get rid of Psylocke, Groot, Sa uh, Doctor Strange. Those are the three guys you need to get rid of after you kill Falcon. So first Falcon then uh, Doctor Strange, then uh, Groot, and then Psylocke. And then the Cyclops. And uh, yeah, this node, I mean, the node is not super difficult, but this bug is uh, on another level. So now I have uh, f four Gregs, and Minerva died. Oh my god, what now? What am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. And this Cyclops, they one does the ultimate and the other one does the ultimate as well. But because I have four Gregs and they have slow, I have more than four turns of advantage over them. So I just keep using the Gregs. You want to throw the Gregs against anyone who has counter, so they get slowed even more. And you also want to throw them against uh, uh, Colossus. And if your ally is not too strong, Colossus will be able to kill the Gregs. So now I have five Gregs because one Greg to took the space of Minerva. And just look like that. Psylocke killing all of them. Now I even will regret that I applied offense down to them because now they most of them cannot even kill the Gregs. But now I have five Gregs on the field. And look, they do so much damage with their basic. It's just insane. And uh, I was like, <laughs> this can't be true. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. And but Groot, as always, likes to be annoying. So he has to revive like 30 times. 
if you see that Groot is gonna do some funny stuff, apply Disrupt to him. So whenever he re revives, he will not have all those buffs that uh, usually he gets on spawn, like he has now offense up, defense up, and speed and counter. Uh, so yeah. So five Gregs like a boss. Let's go. Easy mode. Oh man, it's like, I don't know. Do the developers even test uh, these combos out or? I don't know, like, we knew that we could do this sort of with Minerva, but you need Ella to die. What you have, if you have Mr. Sinister, and some people think that Mr. Sinister is not good for Dark Dimension 3. Some people still think that. And then you have situations like this. It's just unbelievable. It's just amazing. And uh, if you want to use this bug, I guess, I, I don't know, is this a bug? Is this exploit? I don't, I'm not exploiting anything as as far as I know I'm just playing the game so uh, I guess everyone can do it uh, but if you want to do this you should avoid using a tank like Thanos or Sif or something like that because otherwise the Gregs will not die or it will be less likely for them to die you'll have to expect chain attacks and stuff like that and it will be very pretty much pointless and then uh, you just do basics and whatever and if uh, someone eventually kills uh, your Hela your first Hela will still spawn all the Gregs uh, so that's crazy and uh, if uh, and you can still clone another Hela because there are a few on this node uh, so yeah I, I will I will uh, start to upload my first run I, I think I only have uploaded four nodes and I will do a playlist for uh, Dark Dimension 3 first run and uh, then I will do a uh, Dark Dimension 3 second run playlist for uh, bugs like these and uh, funny stuff that now we can do with more characters since more characters are available to run on uh, Dark Dimension 3 it's, it's just amazing any character that dies at this point uh, will be replaced by a Greg. And uh, as you see the light, the health from Hela, I don't know why it got bugged. So when the Greg dies and heals her up, it's not uh, showing up anymore. But uh, like she takes a lot more damage that should kill her and she didn't die. On, and it's like a clone, the clones are way weaker. And yeah, but my Hela is a little bit too strong, so the Gregs are strong as well, and uh, Colossus with the offense down is not able to kill them <coughs> with the retaliation effect. Uh, so yeah, that's unfortunate. It could be a little bit more fun and fast. This was like uh, 12 minutes or something, uh, but it was very interesting. Once again, strategy wins against the the brute force of Dark Dimension 3. Unfortunately, Ebony Maw died. That sucks. And uh, uh, Scientist Supreme did not re revive uh, Minerva or uh, Ebony Maw. But guess what? He's going to be replaced by another Greg. So now we have six Gregs on the field. Six Gregs on the field. And uh, Mr. Sinister just keeps on healing. He heals so much. And uh, you have to remember that Mr. Sinister is also very good for Dark Dimension 3 because he always gives himself 3 energy whenever he spawns. So you, 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 you'll <laughs> you will always have your cooldowns ready compared to other characters that have very long cooldowns and that do not uh, replenish their own energy. So yeah, we have the 8 characters left. We have another Hela on the field. So we could even clone a third one but I mean with the army of Gregs like this one uh, I think we are fine and look how many attacks they do a nice amount of damage my Hela is 6 yellow 5 red and the Gregs are so strong right now I did all T4s on Hela so the Gregs are also on max T4s yes it influences the power of the basic and of the special of the Greg if you do the T4 on the special of Hela, it will increase the, the damage from the special of the Greg. And yeah, then we just sacrifice the Gregs, then uh, 
use them to do basics then we sacrifice them again then we do basics and uh, and the enemies are on this chain that they cannot do anything and because they are slow as well even if uh, somehow they will get uh, some turn it, it would be still it would still be very slow there a uh, scientist supreme almost dies but once again she took the special from ghost rider in the face and she has the same health bar so i think at this point the game was completely bugged and uh, and yeah like it's just funny stuff but come on guys don't go to reddit and rush telling the devs about this just use it for your advantage so you have an easier time you don't need to go uh, weasel out and uh, say it right away just enjoy it it's one of those funny things about the game that we can make <laughs> with a few characters it's funny it helps us out and uh, yeah so what's the best team for the first node on uh, Dark Dimension 3? Well, definitely Hela, Mr. Sinister and uh, someone else to help them out. <laughs> it was just crazy. Oh my god. Funny stuff, am I right? So yeah, first node done. Let's see how fast I can do this. I'm hoping that less than a month. I really hope it's less than a month. And now I was looking at, hmm. Now which characters I'm going to take advantage of? Probably Star-Lord. <laughs> Giving all those blights to uh, Miss Marvel and stuff like that will be interesting. But I don't see many people using Mr. Sinister. I was actually very surprised. And uh, I don't know, like it was so easy. I, I didn't end up on the top because everyone does the same damage unless uh, you allow the characters to heal themselves but none of the characters does that so yeah very funny stuff so yeah guys that's gonna be the video i hope you guys enjoy it if you did you know what to do you smash that like <laughs> you smash that like button like uh, ella and mr sinister together and uh, uh, if you think this video is going to be helpful for your friends for your alliance mates make sure you share it on discord and facebook but not on reddit people from reddit just stay away and uh, because they will chill out and they will go right away oh devs please fix this no just enjoy it it's just for the lols and yeah so uh, if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys later see ya